Let's go! It's time to talk about Walker Howard. We've done the other three quarterbacks already. I'll link all those film studies down below. So let's talk about potentially the future quarterback of LSU. And of course, right here, we're starting off um, with a completion here to Chris Hilton. So this was one of the best snaps uh, that we've seen from Fitzgerald West. And this was also one of the better snaps we saw from Walker Howard. Just really quick, decisive quarterback play. Once again, Brian Kelly intentionally kept the coverages very simple. This is an easy read. Hit Chris Hilton on this comeback. Um, and it's, you know, very soft coverage. More importantly, the pocket is really good. The one thing I really like, though, about Quincy Wiggins is, yes, fundamentally, he's not where he needs to be, but his length in getting into the passing lane, you see, he was so close to batting down a ton of passes, not only in this game, but in the spring. It's really impressive. So here we go, second down right here, Walker Howard, and this is, you know, he gets a little bit of a low snap, but this is one of his worst plays from the spring game so we ended up scoring his only touchdown pass on this play and we'll show it to you a little bit later but once again this play is made by Quincy Wiggins now this time he's going up against a walk-on once again he's really high but because he's so athletic and so long he really affects quarterback play um, he, he's not ready yet, just looking at the drills and just other plays from the spring game, but you could just see the potential here, and this forces Walker Howard to get very antsy feet, as you can see in the pocket. Boom! I'm looking at you, okay? Huh? 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 You, you guys have watched the other film studies, and if you haven't, it's okay. Um, but for those that have, what has been LSU's number one play that they ran during the spring game, Okay. Trivia question. Just give it a guess. I want to see if you had been paying attention to the other ones. Now, once again, I am not a coach, but I do know this. Very simply put, LSU ran a lot of mesh. So what are we going to do? We're going to run mesh versus man coverage. It works almost every time, um, especially if you play one high safety, which LSU is doing. It's just hard because... What mesh essentially is, is just shallow crossers with two receivers. And you'll see right here, there's a lot of chaos in the middle of the field when you run mesh, okay? What happens here is Sage Ryan is in man coverage versus Jack Bash. And uh, Micah Baskerville was on man coverage with the tight end. Micah does a good job getting underneath the Knicks doors. And then he picks up Jack Bash right here, okay? Now, Derek Davis Jr. is confused. Sage Ryan decides to run with Jack Besh here. The funny thing is, is Jack still got open right here. So if you're Walker Howard, yes, Quincy Wiggins is getting some pressure, but he's still in front of you. This pocket is still relatively clean. The first read on mesh rail is normally the running back. Um, there was a coach that actually broke down the LSU spring game and, and shared that. So he sees that West Weeks does an excellent job getting over the top here on Armani, Armani Goodwin. Second read, of course, is Kyron Lacey right here, and it does eventually get open, but there's so much traffic right here over the middle. And now, your third read should be right here. And if there's one guy we would expect Walker Howard to throw the football to, it would be Jack Besh. But once again, it's tough. It's your first game. That's a lot of chaos happening in one snap. Mesh could be tough for a quarterback, uh, but here's the good thing about Walker Howard, and this is something that you have to ask yourself about Jaden Daniels or Miles Brennan or just any quarterback versus Miles Brennan. Walker's one of the quarterbacks on this roster that even if he misses a throw, he can turn this into a two-yard gain or a first down. Obviously, DDJ wasn't going to hit him. All righty, so we get a first down here, and this was John Emery's best run of the day. This is just some really good run blocking look at the surge we're getting on makai wingo i mean we're just destroying him here with this double cardell and marcus doomerville good stuff both former top uh 150 prospects living up to the hype here i love it and that's a scholarship dt right there they're moving so west weeks gets caught up in uh the mush here and you would hope that he would be able to step left over the top of this a little bit quicker instead of just getting in the pile. 
So, uh, once again, it's tough. This a linebacker is really difficult. The guy that makes this play, though, once again, is Quincy Wiggins. Does a good job right here. So, he's able to honor the, the run right here of Walker Howard and then make this play. John Emery here probably gets through here if he isn't wearing the longest undershirt you'll ever see. So obviously that's something that wouldn't happen because, you know, your jersey's normally tucked in during the game. But Matthew Lingua, who missed a few tackles in the spring game, actually missed this one. And Emery's through here if he didn't have such a long undershirt. So really good play right there by Quincy and some excellent blocking up front. And I like this. I like this energy from Doomerville. I like this energy from Hill. Let's do it. Smash Mouth football. Let's go. I would have liked to have fed Emery again just to see what actually happens here. Uh, on this play, we have some really deep off coverage right here, and we have all walk-on wide receivers. So that's not going to be how it is in the game. And Walker Howard's looking at this thrower here to Jack uh, Rilling, Riling, and um, we don't know where Jordan Tolls is, so maybe that's why Walker didn't throw this. Uh, but it is open just by looking at this frame. I, I Maybe Jordan Tolls is driving down on this and we can't see it. So I, I can't really say what actually happened there. But now we're going to the backside on this curl flat read. Obviously, John Embry's not open. So just throw it right here. Your, your, your pocket's really good. Um, and uh, Nash from Catholic High's right here for a nice little gain. And instead, we run into a sack and uh, there was no pressure right there from Bryce Langston he just uh, Walker just kind of ran into it so you know as a quarterback uh yes you can't get hit but right here you just want to step up into this pocket don't go this way because if you're running to your left backwards like this how are you going to be able to throw if you don't make this guy miss it's a big loss sack fumble or whatever just sit in this pocket. And and what's really interesting about this is Walker Howard, Walker Howard had an amazing, amazing uh, pocket awareness. So, yeah, I mean, the pocket was good enough for him to just sit and just throw this here or just throw it away. What we don't want to do is, is take negative sacks such as that one. So this is about to get really technical on this third and 10. Um, so you'll see right here Walker Howard claps. He had been doing hard counts because of his uh, thumb surgery. Uh, but you see, normally if you clap right here the offensive tackle and the offensive guard on this third and long is, is expecting you to snap the football at some point so yes this is on Dumerville and cardell for jumping early but at the same time this ball should have already been out uh but once again i don't know what the snap call is now the second thing here is fitzgerald west is trying to make a call and this was actually one of the few times we stemmed our defensive line. So our Jack linebacker, we put Xavier Carter over the center. And if you're Fitzgerald West, knowing that the guard and the tackle are occupied by these two defenders, you have to step really heavy to your right side A-gap. So immediately when you snap, you need to immediately just hit this guy right here. But it, he was just too late, okay? And, you know, the whole snap, everything was just off right here, and you're dead to rights. So that's the thing. Playing center is really difficult when you get those fast linebackers on those A-gap blitzes, and, and that's exactly what happened. So something that kind of sucked for Walker Howard was he didn't get back onto the field until the early fourth quarter. So still, uh, you're a little cold coming off the bench. Uh, the top three guys were getting more reps than you. And once again, you're working with uh, all walk-on wide receivers here. Still, you can see he kind of hitches right here. The ball needs to come out just quicker. Um, I, I don't know exactly what's happening here. Um, not having a lot of chemistry with Nash, the walk-on from Catholic High. Uh, just just ripped that thing. And because it was late, this allowed this to fit it back to drive down. Still, if you're Nash, you got to catch that. Drive down and make a play on the football. So now I want you to put yourself into the shoes of Fitzgerald West. You're a true freshman center. This is your first time playing in Tiger Stadium. You've already snapped the football over Miles Brennan's head. Now, right before the snap, we're going to show you a double A-gap pressure look. And you see, even when West, for the most part, knows that LSU's not blitzing at all, you see what that double A-gap pressure does. 
after the Xavier Carter miss, it, you know, forces the snap to be low. And, of course, he had that snap way over Miles Brennan's head. So this, of course, disrupts the rhythm. One thing you do see, though, is a really good pocket. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more pressure here. Uh, but once again, we're, we're kind of just catching these pass blocks and Walker Howard. One thing also is, I mean, this ball just sails on him. Uh, he hitches again, once again, not having a lot of, you know, good rapport with this walk-on receiver. And you can just tell this ball just sails on him just from the get-go. And we got to complete that to move the chains for a first down. Or for Walker Howard here, if you feel this rusher going past you, roll out to the right or just step up into this and, and make something happen off platform uh, if you have to. Still, uh, we, we could have gotten more out of this. So BK just sends Walker Howard right back out there. And once again, we're showing exactly the touchdown that Walker Howard had in the spring practice earlier uh, in, in the spring. We got press coverage going up against Kyron Lacey, who had a rough day overall. And this time, the snap from Fitzgerald West is actually pretty good and you could just see walker howard just kind of rushes right here because he he just loves this matchup and that's exactly what happens he takes his high off the football and it bobbles so you know just the exchanges overall just weren't where they need to be all day sometimes it was on a center sometimes it was on the quarterback walker howard throws this ball to kyron lacy and well it's not where it needed to be all right, we ran counter on second down to pick up a few yards, and now on this third and seven, let's see what happens here. We get a really good snap this time, and we're looking to try and make something happen. Now, once again, to pick up seven yards with the walk-on receiver is always going to be really hard, and uh, you see right here, uh, 94 gets home. You can see he hits Walker Howard right here in the elbow, and that... Did he hit him? Either way, there was some pressure. Walker's just trying to throw something up. And once again, just nobody's open. Uh, he's throwing the go right here, and it's just swallowed alive. So now we're going for it on fourth down on mesh rail, and this is uh, the Walker Howard touchdown. This is also uh, basically the same play we hit Josh Williams on with Garrett Nussmeyer. And, um, you know, Walker just throws an absolutely beautiful ball. It's a very easy read. Linebacker gets picked off in the traffic, and all Corn Norman has to do is catch and run with it. And Norman has been such a good piece to what LSU was doing, or what LSU has done over the past couple years as a walk-on running back. And all we have to do is see him house it, baby. So you absolutely love it. Now, of course, Walker Howard only had three completions for you know a good chunk of yardage, and this play took up a good portion of it and you saw a bunch of true freshman quarterback mistakes now the good thing is walker howard is not this quarterback he is a really special talent we've done a ton of film studies on what he was able to accomplish in high school and this is a new system obviously he just got healthy and he is working with a ton and i mean a ton of backup players so you gotta love this man that's just such good mentorship right there from uh, the quarterback, uh, Miles Brennan. You really do. Now, as far as, uh, you know, the next great quarterback at LSU, yeah, I mean, look, Walker Howard's going to have to beat out Garrett Nussmeyer next year for the job, assuming both of them are still there at LSU for the quarterback battle next year. I'll, I'll say this. I, I actually, what was this deflected? Oh, man. Yeah, I think 94 got a piece of that. He actually, that is really impressive. It was actually on his second hand movement. So he actually got it flicking his hand again. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, but it wasn't enough of a deflection to stop it. Um, but yeah, the, the, the future of LSU football... It's going to be tough. I mean, I, I don't know who, if Walker Howard would beat out Garrett Nussmeyer next year for the job. Uh, who's to say Jaden Daniels doesn't hang around another year? So, you know, once again, it's so early to, to say. But once again, Walker Howard just got healthy. It's so early in his development. But you did see some special today. 
Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. I am currently still in England. So uh, I hope you keep watching the content because there is no vacation on PHL. No days off. You know it. Uh, so yeah, there will be some fun content floating in your face in just a second. It is Power Hour LSU Bell. On tonight, oh, we're doing some tea and crumpets. Let's go!